Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a live drum kit in Reaper. Now we're going to start off with a new project and just double click over here to create a new track. We'll name it Drum Kit and give it a color. Then we'll set up our input to be a USB MIDI keyboard, which is going to trigger our samples. Then we'll turn on input monitoring and put it into record. Now, if I play the keyboard, we should see level right over here. And we do. So now we need to add a sample plugin to play back our drum samples. So we'll go here to the track effects and we'll choose the Reaper plugins. And we'll go over here to Resample Matic 5000, which is the sample player that comes with Reaper. Now, if we drag and drop samples into here or bring them in by browsing them, they're going to play back from this plugin. But now we need to get some drum samples. So let's go to the internet and let's search free acoustic drum samples wave. And one of the top websites that comes up is right over here, drum samples Judd Madden. Let's choose that. And there's a bunch of free drum samples that we could download from this website right over here. Now you could use any drum samples you choose, but if you want to follow along, I'd recommend using these. So let's download them. Let's go back to Reaper. And instead of bringing them in from the Browse button, let's go over here to the View menu and choose Media Explorer. And here are the samples we just downloaded. Let's start off with Kick. And as we select them, we should hear them. As you can see, each one is louder than the previous one. So it's set up to be triggered by different velocities. So instead of bringing in just one, let's select them all and drag them all to the plugin. Now, if we go to the list, we'll see them all. And they're all going to be triggered by how hard we hit our MIDI keyboard. So let's switch this over here, the minimum volume to be infinity. Now, if we play the MIDI keyboard, we should hear the kick. And if we play soft, we'll hear the soft sample. And we can see what sample is being triggered. If we look over here, that's three, that's six, that's one, two, and so on. So to make it sound more realistic, it's going to trigger different samples based on how hard we play it. But if you notice right now, no matter what key we hit, it plays the kick. We want to set it up to just be triggered by one key. So let's go over here to note start, type in 36 or C2 and note end to be the same thing. So now if we play C2, we hear the kick. But if we play anything else, we don't. We're going to use the other keys for different drum sounds. Now, I'm noticing the pitch is a bit high. Let's bring it down a bit with the pitch offset. That's a lot better, a lot deeper. But it also rings out a bit too long, so let's grab the decay and adjust it. That feels good right there. So now let's create a plugin for the snare. But instead of starting over, let's just copy this one and then paste it and add a snare sample 
to the second one. Go back up to our snares. And let's grab all these. Drag them in. And again, all seven of them are going to play based on the velocity. Put the tuning back and the sustain and the decay. Let's change the note to 38 or D2. So now if we play D2 on the keyboard, we hear the snare. And again, if we play soft, we'll hear a soft sample. And if we play hard, we'll hear the hard sample. making it sound more natural. But it's also a bit deep, so let's bring up the pitch. And it's also a bit too long. So let's bring it down here. A bit too short. That feels pretty good right there. Now to make it easier to play fills, let's copy it and paste it and put the second one on a different key. We'll type in 40, which is E2. Now we can go back and forth between D2 and E2 to play fills. Let's change the pitch of the second one just a bit. That sounds more natural. Now let's move on to the hi-hat. Once again, we'll copy this and paste it. Let's reset the pitch and the sustain. Let's choose a hi-hat. Right here. I think we can get away with just the first five. So it'll sound more closed. Bring those in. Change the note to be 42, which is F sharp two. And let's hear it. Again, it's a bit too long. Bring it down. Right about there feels good. Now we can create another hi-hat that plays a bit more open. Let's copy it and paste it. Change the note to 44 or G sharp to. And change the samples to be this one up into this one. Bring this down a bit. Feeling good. Now we need an open hat. So again, we'll copy it and paste it. Go down here and choose this one here. And we just need one of them. And it's going to play on 46 or B flat to and sound like this. Sounds good. Now we need a way for it to open and close and sound natural. Right now, the open hat holds on, we need it to cut off. So we could do that with the MIDI choke plugin. Type in choke and choose this plugin and put it before the hi-hats. And now by default, it's gonna choke 46 
with 42. As long as we turn on obey note offs for the open hat. We want to do the same thing for the medium hat. So we'll go over here to additional choke note and type in 44. So it'll choke with that note as well. So that sounds like this. Sounding good. Now because of the length of this video, I've decided to cut it into a few different parts. In the next video, we're going to work on the toms and the cymbals, and also save it so we can recall this kit again. So let's move on to the next video. Mm -hmm.